All right, what is going on? What, what is up, everyone? We're here, the same spot, same hat, different day. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Hey! And uh, it's making gains day 300. Oh, fuck, why do I keep. And uh, it's another day of making gains. So, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna make some gains. So, first of all, I've gotta get my first meal underway. And uh, I'll see you guys at the gym. I think I'm just gonna have two bananas today. I've got the day off. I don't need to worry about too much at all. I can eat most of my calories when I come home, but I've gotta get something before I go and train. So, two bananas it is. A coffee, and then we'll be off. Everybody, we are back from the gym, smashed some arms, and uh, it's time to get something to eat. But honestly, I'm I'm pretty much out of everything. Um, I've been using this chest freezer to keep my fish and kangaroo and chicken and everything in. Well, there is there is absolutely nothing left except for some fish, which I got out this morning. So that has defrosted, and we've got that here. Because, like I was saying yesterday, the one macro I really worry about is protein. So, we've got this, which is pure, pure protein, you know, bassa fillet. It's a cheap, it's a cheap uh, white fish, but it does the job. We've got eight servings, and each serve has 
15.5 grams of protein, 8.15s are 120, so we've got about 130 grams of protein, 125 grams of protein. So that will be the majority of my protein for the day. As well as that, I'll probably have a couple of scoops of protein powder with some egg whites, which will add even more protein. And obviously there will be residual protein from carb sources and fat sources because I choose to still count you know, protein from things like rice and bread and that towards my daily protein amount. Um, I know people who don't track would not count that, but I mean, in, you know, in, in something like a bagel, for example, which is something I used regularly while I was bulking because, you know, a, one bagel had 50 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein and next to no fat. So for bulking, that was a perfect macro ratio, you know. I mean, if I ate four bagels, at one sitting, which I did often, um, that would be not only fucking 200 grams of carbs, but it'd also be 40 grams of protein. And it's like, if you don't count that towards your total, that'd be pretty stupid. It's a, it's a considerable amount of protein. So I choose to do that. So with, with the fish, with the two scoops of protein powder, which is another 50, and with the egg whites, which would give me another 30 or 40, that's 210. Uh, and... Yeah, the residual protein from the other foods. So uh, should be up around 250 by the end of the day. Carbs and fats, I don't know what I'm gonna have. I had two bananas before I left. Like I said, um, I'm gonna cook the fish up, have a little bit. I'll probably have a wrap with some honey, which is a snack that I had last night. Um, completely you know, low fat, high carb, no protein in there really. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I'll catch you guys later. I've got, I've got some editing to do. I've got a few, well, obviously the clips from today, which are hopefully, hopefully they look good. Honestly, like today I just went into the gym and I thought, you know what, fuck it. I'm not going to worry about what anyone else thinks. I'm just going to set up my camera. <laughs> honestly, it's so hard. Like for example, a couple of shots, my camera was right in the corner of the gym, right? So I've got people, everyone behind me. I don't know what they're doing. But I have to go like with my back to everyone, trying trying to set up this fucking camera on the tripod, and I'm, I can swear like people are, people's eyes are burning in the back of my back of my head. But uh, honestly, once I got the good shot, I didn't give a shit. And like, if I'm lifting heavy enough weight and I'm you know look respectable in the gym, I don't think people will worry too much. I mean, I think the thing that they probably will worry most about is is me having them in my videos. So you know. Yeah, hopefully the clips turned out good. I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, hopefully. It was pretty hard to get a pump, but uh, you know, just pretty much training faster. Two bananas just before I go to the gym is 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 nothing really, but uh, definitely helped me out. A couple of workouts lately, I've actually hit uh, completely fasted, and it's definitely not the not the way to go for me. I need something in my system, even if it's just mental. I still I still need that. So. With that being said, I'm going to get onto the fish, get onto some editing, and I will see you guys later on in the day. Peace. All right, so I'm not going just yet. I'm going to show you guys what the fish looks like. Uh, here we are. One fillet, two fillet, three fillet, four fillet, five, six, seven, eight. Each one is meant to be 125 grams. Who knows what it is, really? Uh, but the pan is on. So we're gonna put this on, and um, I choose to use, I mean, I've got a stove here, it's pretty small, but I do choose to use this electric fry pan because it has a lid that I can then put on top, and it means that, you know, with things like chicken breast, fish fillets, things like that, uh, what I'll do is I'll sear it on both sides, and then I'll put the lid on, because then it, the moisture st stays in the meat, and it's like a, pressure cooker I suppose. It keeps the moisture in the meat and um, it cooks you know, evenly all the way through and it doesn't burn the outside of it. So that's what we'll do. We'll put that in there for probably about a minute on each side on a high heat to sear it and then I'll put that on and yeah. It, it, I mean fish, honestly guys, like fish doesn't take long at all. I'm, I'm sort of more so talking about chicken breast and things like that but you know, these fillets are so thin, actually, looking at it, it's not going to take long at all. So, anyways, that's it. Now I've got to go. Alright guys, I lied again. 
Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. So the fish is there. I'm not going to use the lid because they are so thin, but I've got all eight fillets in there. And what I have been doing, which I should show you because, you know, that's what this thing's all about, is... Fucking stay there, would you? So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll get my fitness pal out and I will scan the barcode. So we've got barcode here and you get the app out, you scan it and obviously it's going to give me the values, it's going to knock it into the app absolutely instantly and you don't need to worry about it for the rest of the day. So all it takes guys is one day where you're, where you're bang on with your tracking and you track absolutely everything. The next day you wake up, it'll be a lot easier to start because you've got one day in the bank, you know. I, so many times I fucking would start and then stop before the end of the day or before lunchtime actually. I'd fucking just eat something and be like, nah, I can't be bothered. And that's when you start to fall off track and when your results aren't, you know, probably what, what you expect them to be because you haven't tracked, especially with fat loss. Um, you know, if you really want to be on top of things, you've got to track what you're eating and drinking, everything. Sources, you know, absolutely everything. So everything has calories in it. When you're wanting to lose weight, you're wanting to cut, calories are the major key. When you're wanting to maintain the muscle when you cut as well, protein is a major key. Protein makes up some of the calories, the rest are carbs and fats. Blah, blah, blah. I'll see you guys.